हेलो व्यूअर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लाइक द वीडियो एंड शेयर इट थैंक्स सो कमिंग टू दी लाइफ केस दिस इज दैड ऑफ द फिटेस्ट नंबर टू एंड दिस इज दैड ऑफ द फिटेस्ट नंबर वन the head that is more close to the cervix mother cervix or maternal cervix is called as the fetus one and the head that is away from the cervix is called as the fetus number 2 both the fetus are lying in this phallic position and they are lying side by side so this is a very interesting case the patient is only 28 year old look at the head number 1 and now this is the head number 2 more close to the cervix is called as the fetus 1 you can also see the position of the placenta that is anterior and mid segment no i am just trying to look at the both femur of the fetus number 1 and you can see the burger sign you can see the burger sign the sex determination in twin pregnancy is difficult because there are multiple fetal parts within the uterus so this is the sex of the fetus 1 you can appreciate the burger sign in the scan this is the burger sign this is very clear there are three lines you can appreciate hamburger sign that is characteristic of the female fetus look at this so these are the femur bone now i'm just trying to look at the sex of the second fetus it is lying more close to the interior segment of the uterus the fetus number 2 has its parts toward the anterior segment of the uterus and i am just trying to locate the sex of the fetus 2 for that i am moving my probe on the umbilical region and above to locate the sex of the fetus 2 so these are the femur bone and in between these femur bone you can not see the scrotal sac or any structure between the femurs now i'm just trying to locate the sex of the fetus 2 Look at this. It is somehow difficult to locate the sex of the fetus too. But with practice, you come to know how to locate the gender or sex of the fetus in twin or multiple pregnancies. Now look at this sex. This is the burger sign. Look at this. This is very clear. If you like the video please give a like to the video and share the video on the social media please subscribe our channel so that you can get the notification of the new video thanks assalam alaikum viewers please subscribe the channel like the video and share it today we are going to discuss the ultrasound of female fetus that is very important scan sex determination actually is very important part of the ops ultrasound so you can uh, see in this picture a female baby that is showing you the sandwich or the burger sign you have to look into the burger sign there are three lines that are whitish and you have to focus the femur both femur and in between these femur you have to manipulate your probe to see the burger sign you can see the burger sign so come and uh, see how we appreciate the female sex on the ultrasound in this case
first of all i'll start with the ppd try to focus on the hypothalamus now i'll try to focus the third ventricle that is a slit like structure to my ear the ppd we have to my ear the ppd a line crossing the hypothalamus and the third ventricle from one parietal bone to the other parietal bone so the fetal age of this uh, baby appears to be see i am also measuring the head circumference it's appear to be 34 to 35 week now i will try to focus on the heart four chamber view of the heart now this is the way form to calculate the heart rate and in this case it is approximate approximate heart rate is about 150 per minute we have to measure the wave form from the start of one wave to the other now this is uh, to see or uh, to appreciate the heartbeat of the baby to put the doppler color into the heart and we will listen the heart sound this is close view of the heart you can appreciate the interventricular septum as well as the atrias very clear view of the heart you can also appreciate the chest and the abdominal cavity see this is the heart now i like to calculate the abdominal circumference at the level of the gastric bubble so this should not include the heart beat or the kidney we have to take the two measurement that are along the chordna to each other so they show the 33 week baby now i am coming on the sex determination and the femur of that fetus it is a phallic baby position is phallic you can appreciate the burger sign and you can also appreciate the female sex this is the femur on both side upper and down and in between these two is the sex this arrow show you the sex it is a sandwich there are three lines a middle upper and the lower you can not appreciate the testicle in this case look at the movement of the arrow it's very clear this is the sex of the baby very very clear no doubt there is a mid line that is echogenic and there is upper and lower line so it is a female baby now i like to measure the femur length from the greater trough to the lower end of the femur in the advanced pregnancy femur length is more important it is about 35 on ultrasound 2 or 3 weeks they are plus minus so it is about 34 to 35 or you can say the 34 to 35 that is the gestation age again this is sex this is the genital of the female and it show the burger sign you can also appreciate the placenta that is the fundal and on the posterior side it is grade 3 the maturity of the placenta is grade 3 this is the fundus that is the fundal posterior placental position like a is adequate you can appreciate the placenta 
you can appreciate the lining between the uterine wall and the placenta you can put the doppler color and you can appreciate the placenta from the uterine wall again it's very clear the sex is very clear i am trying to focusing the sex multiple times so to, that you can appreciate it and you can uh, keep it in your mind okay. what is the picture of the female sex now i am putting the doppler power doppler into the umbilical vessel to calculate the sd ratio in the previous videos i have told you that while the pregnancy advances sd ratio decreases from 4 to 1.8 in 20 week it is about 4 and when it, it, it advances and become mature then this SD ratio that is systolic to diastolic ratio decreases. This shows that there is increase in the diastolic flow as the pregnancy advances. That is very important to increase the blood supply of the fetus. So you can appreciate that it, it's about uh, 1.7 to 8 when you calculate the SD ratio in this case that is normal baby there is no sign or there is no element of the IUGR I am taking the measurement to calculate the ST ratio that is 1.71 in the IUGR baby the ST ratio increases while the pregnancy advances thanks for watching the video please subscribe the channel like the video and share it on the social media thanks hello viewers please subscribe the channel like the video and share it thanks no, coming to the live case, this is 34 week pregnant lady. She has got placenta previa that is covering the internal os. It's a female issue and she is having the breech baby. Now I am going to focus on the female bones and we are going to discuss the sex of the baby. No. I am going to focus on both femurs and try to locate the sex of the baby. Look at the burger sign. This is the burger sign. So this is the female issue. You can appreciate the sex of the baby between the two female bones. There are three lines that show the hamburger sign and it's a female issue look at this now I'm going to look at the placenta you can see the lower part of the placenta this is the internal loss and this is the placenta look at the posterior lining of the uterus posterior wall of the uterus and the placenta attached to it the maturity of the placenta is grade 2 it has got sinuses look at the color doppler showing the blood flow through the placenta and its attachment with the posterior uterine wall can also determine the acrita, percrita and the acrita. This is the placenta previa but it's not the percrita or acrita. So look at the placenta. It is on the posterior wall of the uterus and lower part is covering the internal loss. It's a breech baby. You can see the 
the center and its detail very clearly. The sex is female and it's a breech baby. Like it is adequate and there is no fetal enamely in this scan. This is the head of the baby that is breech. Fetal cardiac activity is okay and other parameters are okay. So this is the color of the study of the the center and its attachment with the wall of the uterus. You can appreciate the blood flow between the placenta and the posterior you will find wall. Thanks for watching this. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it. Thanks.